Yeah, so I mean, to be quite frank, I, I find the reference to sound bites quite offensive. I mean, there isn't anybody in Ireland who doesn't want women to be safe. There isn't anybody in Ireland who doesn't want women in her own lives to be safe. And there isn't anybody in Ireland, I hope, that doesn't take the issue of domestic sexual and gender based violence extraordinarily seriously. And I'd argue that there isn't a minister in the history of the state that has done more on this issue uh, than Helen McEntee, who has put in place a zero tolerance strategy. But let me say this what has clearly been seen, and I can't comment on this because of the court case. But is what we have seen in the last number of days is how far we have to go to get to I think this raises a number of important issues, and I need to talk more broadly about the specific case judicial training, uh, sentencing guidelines, the work of the Judicial Council. I think they're all practical actions that need to absolutely be considered in terms of next steps. I think we also have to be very conscious, again, without talking about a specific case, that part of the system does allow a DPP to appeal any sentence that he or she believes to be too, too lenient. Uh, or, or indeed or indeed inappropriate in any way. So the legal proceedings and the legal process may not yet have ended in relation to this case. That remains, that remains to be seen. But once that window has closed and once the legal proceedings have concluded, I'd absolutely want to meet with the potential of life. Um, because we need more people to be coming forward. We need to have a zero tolerance approach. And what we certainly don't need is anybody being put off coming forward by a situation where they feel uh, where they feel that um, that, that a crime that carried out wasn't wasn't matched in terms uh, in terms of justice, but but I do think there's very specific issues here in relation to the defence forces, and it's it's a harsh thing for me to have to say in the shop, but I feel I need to say it. Would the defence forces be carrying out the review that they're now carrying out? Was there not was there not so much public interest in this? There are people in the defence forces who clearly knew this was happening. Why did they do nothing? These are very serious questions. Uh, and as Tisha, I'm not satisfied in relation to this. I'm not satisfied at all. I am really angry about it because we're now seeing a flurry of activity. But that flurry of activity is only coming about because of the bravery of Natasha O'Brien. And I want to know how many other people are hiding, hiding with convictions in relation to domestic sexual gender based violence. They have no place, absolutely no place.